Hardridge County Sheriff's Office is still actively investigating a deadly crash from over the weekend. Three people died after crashing into a quarry. We've learned the victims are two women in their 20s and one man in his 60s. Dennis Valera reports on what investigators know so far. Ever since the Frederick County Sheriff's Office revealed the three people who died in this crash, family and friends have been posting tributes on social media. Meanwhile, the sheriff's office continues to try and figure out exactly what led up to them driving over here and into the quarry below. A little after 8.30 Sunday morning is when they were first alerted to it, a car crashing at the bottom of this deep quarry. Video from a WJZ viewer shows when crews first got down there. So our hearts, you know, and our prayers go out to all the families involved in this. I mean, this is a very tragic situation, uh, so it's, it's very hard to see. The victims have been identified as 28 year old Courtney Engelberger, 65 year old Robert Grossnickel, and 23 year old Rachel Willis. The Frederick County Sheriff's Office says their initial investigation shows they were going at a high rate of speed. The Sheriff's Office has never seen anything like this. We haven't had a call like this in, ever, um, and so. This is not roads that we're out typically patrolling. Uh, we have higher speed roads that we're, we're out checking all the time. Neighbors agree. I'll be honest, I've been around here like 12 years. That's the first time I've ever heard of anybody going in the quarry. The area around the quarry, which is in a rural part of the county at Peter Schreiner and Clemensville Roads, has many curvy roads, which makes speeding and other reckless behavior around there a concern. The young kids hang out around that little area, so they do the burnouts and stuff like that when the body's around and stuff. So that's kind of a little secluded road. It's still not clear if alcohol or drugs were a factor in this crash. In Frederick County, I'm Dennis Valera for WJZ.